Previously on The Final Pitch. Today, the investors will decide who among the entrepreneurs will be considered for a possible investment. Some entrepreneurs had their last shot. For now, that was your final pitch. While 12 entrepreneur teams and three social enterprises were given a chance to move to the next level. There was no time to waste. The chosen entrepreneur teams put their learning hats on and opened their minds to lessons in finance from Bank of the Philippine Islands' Joey Gotuaco, followed by recommendations on how to take care of one's employees, as shared by Insider Life's Vito Lucas. The entrepreneurs now take the next step of their journey as they meet their respective potential investors. This is their chance to be mentored and to take part in business challenges that will test their mettle as entrepreneurs. This week, millennial CEO of Prime Philippines, Jet Yu, meets his Team Prime. My name is John Aguilar, and I'm an entrepreneur television producer based in Manila. I've gathered four illustrious investors looking to fund and support the next great Filipino company. William Q. Lim, founder of Mega Global Corporation, makers of the number one sardines in the country, Mega Sardines. Dino Araneta, trailblazing founder and CEO of Experience Innovation and Digital Logistics Company, QuadX. Jet Yu, millennial dealmaker and CEO of property advisory firm Prime Philippines. And Mikey Romero, billionaire sportsman, port operator, and co founding owner of Philippines Air Asia. Our goal is to find the best up and coming entrepreneurs and help take their businesses to the next level. In the end, they face the investors in a once in a lifetime funding round. Many will try, but only a few will make it to the final pitch. Jet Yu is the founder and CEO of Prime Philippines. Unlike your typical entrepreneur, Jet did not start like any other businessman. This millennial entrepreneur used to be a serial gamer who spent 10 to 12 hours a day playing online games such as Ragnarok, Dota, and Counter-Strike. Being an entrepreneur at such a young age comes with many challenges. At the age of 21, he made his first million and by 22, founded four companies and became a successful entrepreneur. All of this prior to starting Prime Philippines. When I started, no one really believed in me. I was laughed at, I was encouraged to change industry. May nagsabi sa akin na parang, Jet, wala kang pag-asa dito. Mas marami pa silang alam sa'yo. 20 years na sila, ikaw, isang taon pa lang. And if you have a reasonable mind, Maniniwala ka na parang, o oh, sige na, change industry na tayo. I met Jet uh, in college. We were blockmates and usually groupmates in UANP. He played uh, computer games a lot back in college, but he already stopped playing after graduating. After a few months, uh, he told me that he will be establishing his own company. Instantly, I saw the different side of Jet. Uh, hardworking, uh, focused, and very driven. He researched a lot. He knows each industry. Every time that he enters the venture or the business, uh, he already know the different side of the business. When he started Prime Philippines, he absorbed me as the first ever employee of Prime Philippines. I felt pressured, of course, being the pioneer employee of a real estate consultancy firm. Sir Jet is not a boss for me already. He's like a brother to me. He gives me lessons. He encourages us to, to do our very best in the company. I only started with one employee, one intern, limited computers, limited resources. We were meeting in fast food chains. We were talking to applicants in fast food chains. Napakahirap because of the limited resources. If I gave up, within the first six months. Wala siguro ngayon ang prime. But I chose to just have faith and just go on. Uh, Jet and I met in college. We were from the same course, entrepreneurial management, but we were different years and we met through the golf team. We actually been together for about six years before getting married. 
As a person, I would call him serious, focused. His priorities changed, especially when he started his own business. He sacrifices the now for the future. And grabe, his pace is really fast because of that. His day never ends like the normal person's, like eight to five, never. His work is 24-7, 365 days. It's always constantly there. He's in that mode. This kind of controversial, my wife may not agree, but I believe that the entrepreneur that I would invest in right now should focus on the business more than family and health. That should be the main focus. If you want to achieve great things in life, it also takes great sacrifices. And at one aspect, one part of your life, the best is while you're young, you sacrifice a little bit of family time held for your future, and that is the business. You could call it like he has a personality for business and he has a personality as a husband. He's a leader, not only in business. You know, he, he knows what he wants for his family. He knows what we should do. He protects the family. I, I feel like I'm very much respected and loved for that because he prioritizes our decision rather than being pressured by what others would want for us. But at home, he's really, really a good husband, a good dad. Sometimes he would go home for a quick break, like four, four o'clock or five o'clock, and he would just go home to hug our daughter and, and eat apples with her or, or share a meal with her. So that's something that really isn't something that you would imagine him to do or be like. I don't believe in work-life balance. I believe in work-life synthesis. We're in work and life, combined gives you a harmonious lifestyle that suits an entrepreneur. Let's say you go out of the country, on the side you also look at business opportunities. And business is always 24-7. There's no holidays. That's why it's not for everyone. In just five years, Prime Philippines is now the youngest and one of the fastest growing real estate consultancy firms in the country. And the leading commercial real estate consultancy firm in Davao City. In line with his vision to modernize the real estate landscape, Jet was called to Marawi to represent the real estate industry in efforts to rehabilitate the war-stricken city. And this year, breaking barriers, Prime Philippines is opening its first international office in China. Jet Yu is a true inspiration to millennials and believes that age should never be a deterrent to success. No wonder this is also the same attitude that he is looking for from his entrepreneurs. Up next on The Final Pitch. Welcome to Quezon City and welcome to great work. For this business challenge, here we are talking about not just millions, but billions of pesos worth of real estate. Hello entrepreneurs. Hi John. Welcome to Quezon City and welcome to Great Work. Great Work is the brand spanking new Grade A business campus by Prime Philippines. So you were chosen by one of our investors, JetU, and by being chosen you will now get an opportunity to get to know him a little better. And this will also serve as his way to get to know each and every one of you and your businesses. So right now, I'd like to call in your potential business partner, the millennial CEO of Prime Philippines, Jet Yu. Hi, good morning. Good to see you, Eunice. Hello. Good to see you, Junji. Welcome to Great Work Business Campus. Great Work is one of our newest venture in the shared office industry. Every design and every detail that you will see in this office is designed for millennials like us. Why don't we continue our discussion over a cup of coffee? Come on. Let's start with Eunice about Excellent. How did you start Excellent, by the way? My partner, kasi, he recently went to an expo in China yeah. and then he found this food preservation product, which is our hero product, the vacuum sealer. When we were studying then the scenario for food wastage, oh. sobrang laki pala. Like, we waste 8 billion of rice per year. So that's huge loss. And uh -oh. with the vacuum sealer coming in, we can preserve our food up to yeah. five times longer. Wow. 
there's kind of a, a weakness on their business model, but I can see the integrity. You know, as Warren Buffett said, integrity is one of the most expensive thing in the universe. So once you find it, you better go grab it. I believe what's important business is first character. The skills will follow later on, and I can help them with that. So Junji, your business, Quick Warren, it's a revival business, right? When our CEO came across uh, an idea uh -huh. of there's no payments built for the Philippines, so he created Quickwire, Quick the cross-border bills of payments. The reason why I chose Quickwire, I want people, entrepreneurs, who can think big enough and who has the guts to challenge the giants. So what about you, Justin? Yours is a very interesting business model. Eh. What captivated me really is the term na ubus niyo yung tambay dun sa area ninyo. Eh. Nag-monetize tayo sa addiction on computer games, so binabayaran yung mga naglalaro. One of the important qualities that he has, his determination is solid. Because if, if you start from scratch, that's where you learn resourcefulness. And that's very important in business. What about you, JC? Stock market is usually dominated by 40s, 50s, 60 mm. plus years old. Mm. So it's very interesting because our business, din namin, real estate consultancy, is somewhat uh -huh. like yours. Yeah. Dominated ng mga baby boomers. How did you come in naman sa Investagram? So first, uh, I was actually a stockbroker. Uh -huh. Tapos, nag full time trading na talaga ako. Wow. Then that's where I met JM and Erwin. Ginawa kong advocacy, wala pang Investagrams noon, na mag, mag talk lang about stock market uh -huh. sa mga colleges. Yeah. That's where we decided na to come together. Na, hey, we, we can take this seriously and share our passion of the stock market sa Pilipino kasi less than 1% lang yung nag invest tama. Oh. Yeah. He has the guts to fight the giants in the stock market industry. I hope, you know, that we can bring your companies to the next level and that hopefully we can grow it internationally. I'd like to wish you the best of luck and always remember, success is good, but always remember to be humble. So please allow me to introduce to you my wife, the Chief Greatness Officer of Great Work Business Campus, Nikita. Hi everyone. Great morning. I'm thrilled to see you all again. And it's really wonderful that you're here in our space. If you would like, I would tour you around our space. Typically, anybody can work here. So what's unique about this kind of office concept is we have awesome amenities. We want to make our members and guests feel taken care of. So that's it guys. I hope you like the tour and I wish you good luck with your business challenge. Make us proud. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Well, for now, let's begin with your business challenge. But first, let me explain to you who is Prime Philippines. Prime Philippines is a commercial real estate consultancy, brokerage, and management firm. And these are our core services. Here, we are talking about not just millions, but billions pesos worth of real estate. Investments that takes years to return. As entrepreneurs, you will need to balance risk and creativity for this challenge. Now, as one-day consultants, you will be tasked to pitch properties to our guests later this afternoon. We take pride in our state-of-the-art technology that we use internally. And this is the first time that we are going to show them to outsiders. I would like to introduce to you Prime Core. Prime Core version 3.0.3. .3. Authorization required. Prime Core is our AI powered property analysis system that uses cognitive computing technology, which incorporates real time data regarding real estate. We will be showing you the subject properties that you'll be visiting today. Access granted. Jetson Yu, founder and chief executive officer. Welcome to PrimeCore. PrimeCore, show the details of CM7511. Property loaded, CM7511. Triumph Square is a 16-story mixed-use commercial office building located at Quezon Avenue, Quezon City. Show the details of CM8053. Property loaded, CM8053. 
Our square mall is a three-level lifestyle commercial complex located at our square Manila, Taft Avenue, corner Pablo Ocampo Street, Marlate, Manila. The entrepreneurs are given two properties to study for their business challenge. The objective, to create a sales pitch presentation for potential investors to buy or lease the properties. Guys, in those folders, you will find the summarized details of the properties presented to us by PrimeCore. There are some details that are missing. It is your task to look for the data and it is your task to inspect the property in its vicinity and come back here to create your presentation on how you will convince our guests. You will be met by Prime Philippines professionals in each property who will be guiding you throughout the site. So I wish you good luck and I look forward to seeing you back here this afternoon. Up next on the final pitch, entrepreneurs, for this part of the challenge, you will be given exactly two hours. Good luck. Your time starts now. The entrepreneurs are split into two teams. Junji of Quickwire and JC of Investigrams make up Team Quickigram. While Justin of Z Leveling and Maharlika and units of excellent comprise team excellent. Entrepreneurs, for this part of the challenge, you will be given exactly two hours, after which you must come back, craft your presentations, and make your pitch. So good luck. Your time starts now. Divide muna tayo ng property and then mag-research kung ano yung available I think online. Okay. So, ang kailangan lang natin would be to fill out yung mga features. Yes, sige. I was with Team Excellent and I noticed that they started discussing their strategies. Eunice showed more leadership qualities. She was more of the one giving direction. And Justin was more of the one that's confirming, okay, let's do this. Actual photos of property. Yeah, so we'll put it in the back of the angles that we can highlight. The first venue that we had to go to was in our square residences in Taft. From there, we met with a prime property specialist and then she toured us around. Ano si tingin mo yung competitive advantage nito versus yung mga immediate? Uh-oh. Nasa corner lot kasi siya, probably. Taft Avenue corner pop up. Ilan population ng condo tenants sa taas? For the tenants, yung total condo units kasi na 2,100 units. JC always kept on coming up with the right questions to ask. Ano mga distinct properties nito? Ito lang yung community mall na meron dito. And still under construction. So ibig sabihin, the more na nagiging develop yung area, the more na nagkakaroon ng potential nito. John G. of Quickwire was able to boost the energy by keeping the conversation going. Millennial ball, so target talaga, millennial. Yes, this is a building na hindi lang kinikater yung mga residentos sa taas, but also the community here in Taft Avenue. So for the second part of the task, we had to go to Triumph in Quezon Ave. So this is an office space and we had to find out how it will be competitive against the other office spaces in Quezon City. And then floor density ratio. Uh, that would be 5 to 1. So how many floors again? 16. 16? But the parking is one from basement 1, 2 and then first to center. Basement uh, so 1 the offices and 2. Would actually start at the 8th floor. Anong parang natin convincing Advantage. Advantage to the building ng area. Na to. Actually, we have the MRT station right there. I think it's pretty good smoking distance. My strategy with my partner JC of Investor Grab was we would ask certain questions uh, while also multitasking, like taking pictures. He has his own set of questions. I also have my own set of questions. How many companies are currently in the building? 32, that's two companies. Two companies are just one. Oh, 100% backup power. So anytime, there's no shortage. There's no shortage. And we also have ATS or automatic transfer suite. 
after visiting each property for their ocular inspection. The teams head back to Great Work Business Campus to prepare their property pitch. We went back to the office and then we had to prepare the presentation material. The strategy of Justin and I is to divide the two properties so that we can concentrate on each presentation and have as much information as we can. Our main strategy was to develop stories on how to captivate these investors towards the properties that we were selling. Joining JetU are several of his trusted partners in the real estate industry. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Today we have two teams that have been going around in almost 40 degree weather trying to get information on two subject properties. One here in Quezon City, the other deep in the heart of Metro Manila. Now their job is to convince you of the merits of these properties. So first up is Team Excellent. Afternoon investors. I'm Eunice and this is my teammate Justin. So first, let's talk about our Square Manila. It's visioned to be the millennial shopping mall in Taft and it's the first of its kind. So the location, it's a prime location. It's very near LRT Taft Station. Makes this Triumph Square. 16-story mixed-use building convenient located in Quezon Avenue. Competitive advantage. Nakapalibot po doon sa, sa area. Most... Uh, we have banks, hotels, and groceries within the vicinity yes, of the establishment. Okay. And it is newly built, completed last March 2017, and the price is very competitive compared to nearby cities. Are you ready to take your investment to the prime level? How about you say you hand over the both property in Bay? What kind of Bay finishes? I'd like to ask, what is the floor-to-floor height of these two properties for the commercials and for the office and for the residentials? We were not expecting that mm. ka kalayo yung understanding I mean, in this type of business in real estate. So, sorry sir, at the moment we don't have the floor-to-floor -floor, uh, measurement. And Justine, Eunice, I think you have to get back to our judges here about their unanswered questions. But it was an eye-opener for us na don't just look at the book, check every details kung ano meron, kung, kung ano yung binibenta nyo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you guys think about the two presenters? Well, they really have to get back to their facts and figures. <laughs> this is what tenants ask. Yeah. We assigned two properties to them, but then based on your questions, it helped me realize that these guys didn't really go above. It. They just used whatever information that was, handed, that was out. handed out to them. Up next, Team Quickie Graham. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Junje Refundov. I'm JC Bisnarf. And, and we, we are, are from Team Quickie Graham. Graham. We offer Triumph Square, a 16-story mixed-use structure. And the 9th floor and 14th floor are the offices areas. So besides Triumph Square, we present to you another opportunity, R Square Manila. It's the first luxury condo and the only millennial serving mall in the Taft Avenue. The advantage with this location is there are four schools located in the vicinity of the R Square Mall. The building in itself would be fully operated by year end. So that would be our presentation. We're hoping to do business with you soon. I'd like to know what is the width of that uh, I, we don't have the, the dimensions of the area, but as you can see on the picture, it has a high ceiling which you can highly customize and uh, you, know, you can put fixtures like your lightings for your restaurants. I'd like to know because you said this, uh, the R Square is a millennial mall, yes. so what makes it a millennial mall? So we millennials, we like to have hangout places, not, not necessarily shops, but but we're going to also establish community areas. What about the um, R-square? If there was an emergency, what kind of, how many escalators or exits are there from one floor to the next? So there are mainly three escalators for, for the, all of the three floors. And then we also have fire exit stair, staircase on that for emergency purposes. So out of the 400, how many are allotted for the retail clients? Our estimate is around one, one, uh, half of it, 180. 180 to 200. Are you sure? Because that's too good to be true. That's yes. Good to be true. 
if you're not really ready to do a pitch, it's gonna be a disaster. Junji, JC, thank you very much for your time. Okay. Thank okay. you. Well, the presentation was, it was an eye-opener. It was really a hindrance for us, not knowing certain, uh, certain details. So gentlemen, what do you guys think about the second group? The second group presented better. I think they kind of panicked at the end. I think they covered uh, a lot more material. And yeah. then when they were trying to over-impress, I think they just were pulling a few numbers out of the hat. Gentlemen, thank you for your feedback and critique. So once again, I'd like to call in the two teams, Team Excellent and Team Quickiegram. So we witnessed quite a grilling for the both of your teams today. It was a very marketing-driven challenge. But then again, if you look at how you should really present, you should really be prepared. You know, in business, it's important that you don't rely on information given to you alone. So you need to be proactive in asking questions, getting out of your comfort zone to get more data, more information about your business. That's the only way you can be competitive in this highly competitive business industry. We hope you learn from this exercise and carry it with you as you prepare for your final pitches. Now the results of today's challenge will not be revealed today. That will be reserved for the final pitch. But for today, congratulations, you all did a good job. <laughs> Next time on The Final Pitch. I'd like to welcome you to X-Space. Xers, can we give these guys a big X welcome? XX! Yeah! Now it's time for the second batch of entrepreneurs to meet the trailblazing founder and CEO of Quad X, Dino Araneta. The entrepreneurs now face their business challenge. Your time. Start now. Go guys!